Concentric circles, spirals attached to spirals, creatures caught in mid-transformation from man to bird. Petroglyphs have been discovered at thousands of sites throughout the West. We refer to them as that they were brought here by the old ones, and the old ones are the ones that had put them there. Um, and there's a lot of people that believe that um, there's the abilities to, um, to interpret them. Um, there's people that um, are very spiritual and, and, and medicine type of people that, that use those things, that have that, that ability to interpret. Um, and they really record and, and share a whole variety of things. I mean, a way of life that, that was occurring way back way back when. Among scholars, there is little agreement on interpretation of this rock art. But one expert in the field, Grace Burkholder, presents a theory that has found growing support. Her theory links rock art to the healing practices of early American Indians. Well, which individuals from a tribe would oh. do this type of work? Oh, I'm convinced that the shamans made the solar markers. And they probably made uh, most, if not all, of the rock art. Why would they do that? Well, that's debatable because we can't get into their minds right. and find out. But uh, most people that share that belief think that the shamans were trying to abstract power from the rocks. If rocks and trees and all other things of that nature contain power, and that power was just a potential, why then, perhaps by putting the rock art on the rock, why they could obtain some of that power or release the power. And they used that power for, you know, the benefit of all, of all mankind. These places of power were marked in distinctive ways. Spirals or circles often denoted places of energy. Figures of man-bird creatures were said to represent shaman as they transformed themselves into flying creatures to visit the stars. And seasonal markers like this were used to control the tribe's movement from one location to another at the right time of year. They were doctors and scientists and priests and artists and solar observers. They were um, con in control of the weather. They had to provide good harvests. And they also had to provide balance and harmony in the universe. And that was a pretty big bill. 